Ah, just a lovely day. It's time to test out my weapons. Hmm. Oh! Oh no! Ah! Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get a Fighter's Bindings, the rarest item in Minecraft Dungeons. Not the rarest, but the best item. In this video I'm basically going to show you how to get it and the best enchantments for it. The best enchantments would be Critical Hit, Radiance, and Swirling. I got very lucky and got Critical Hit, Radiant and Shockwave. You might not get as lucky as me. You'll have to test them out. I'll test them out right here. And I also use this Death Cat Mushroom and the Gong of Weakening. I, they feel nice, you see? Look at all that diamond. A lot of damage. I'm going to show you how to get it now and I'm going to test it out on... Oh yeah, and I also have this mystery armor with chilling, reckless, and protection for loads of damage. And I'm going to show you me killing the mushroom monstrosity now, very quickly. And let's see how fast I can kill the mushroom monstrosity with my gong, my mushroom, and let's see! Yeah, I'm going pretty fast. Oh, we're going to kill him, very quickly. Oh, that's a lot of damage. As you can see, these weapons are really good. And you definitely want to get them. Boom, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, pretty good. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So, guys, the levels that they dropped from are Soggy Cave, the Gauntlets, they're the unique version of the Gauntlets the fighters findings are. Drops from Soggy Cave, Kalkoi Canyon. And what's it? What's it called? Yeah. Um. Um. Dingy jungle. Yeah. Dingy jungle. So the recommended is probably soggy cave. It's the best for doing it. So I'm gonna put it on a lower difficulty to show you it. And I'm gonna show you even a few skips on how to get past the two rooms. These are the two rooms I was talking about. So in this one, we got unlucky. If you ever see this in the first room, you know you got unlucky and you cannot skip it. So make sure to restart the level. We got unlucky. See, we have the fight mobs. It's, it's the bad. Okay, it's bad. And this is the lucky part. First, you need your light feather. This is the number one lucky part. And then you go over here, you go up. Sometimes it's a bit hard, but again, but well, this time you can roll or use your feather. One or the other, it doesn't matter. And then you roll down. Yeah, you did it. So I hope you enjoy this. So in this part, you can, you can get it. This is the first part. So on this one, you want to go over here, and then you can use your light feather or not. So press it, right, go. I did it, and you can just walk right over. And there you go, you did it. And finally, I got the... I'm getting the other one. In this clip, I get it. So, on this part, we got it. So you can use your witcher feather by going up like this, and they equip it. You can go like that, it doesn't always work. Keep doing it. I accidentally rolled off. Sorry, one second. Let me get there very quick. Yeah, and you can roll over there, but I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna show you the other way. If you don't have the light feather, you can still do it. But this will activate the mob, so be careful. So you go over here, and then you roll. And then you see you're up here, and then you can roll up there. Boom, you did it. And now just to do the puzzle, puzzle. And we got the obsidian chest, let's open it. Oh, we got the maulers. Those are rare. No fighter's bindings, but close enough. They're a unique version of the garnets, which means they're almost fighter's bindings. But we prefer fighter's bindings. Okay, so I hope this video helped you guys get fighter's bindings and I'll see you on the next YouTube video. Bye.